Ke Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Ko Loyamla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakahakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akiam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability. This is Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, just wanted to touch on this article with this judge here, or supposedly this judge. Pennsylvania judge Sonia McKnight shot ex-boyfriend while he slept, police say. And you're supposed to be a judge, man. <laughs> Sonia McKnight is a suspended magisterial district judge in Pennsylvania who was accused of shooting her ex-boyfriend in the face while he slept in his bed. In bed. Golly, boy. Hey, look, man. This is why the apostles keep telling us about these, these, these women, man. Be careful, brothers. Be careful dealing with the so-called black women, man. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, come on. I mean, it's, it's real, man. Because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has really, truly made them into enemies of ours, man. It says, in the second time in five years that she shot a man. God damn. Although the first shooting was ruled self-defense, according to Penn Live, the unified judi judicial system of Pennsylvania refers to her as Magisterial District Judge Sonia McKnight on his website. However, she was already suspended after a series of accusations, including granting employees unauthor unauthorized vacation days, inappropriate Facebook posts, and interfering with a police traffic stop involving her son. Court orders on that webs on that website say. And I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. There's a scripture that talks about how, um, roughly paraphrasing, the Lord didn't impute women um, wisdom like that. You a judge and you don't know to stay off Facebook with stupid shit. You a judge and you don't know, you know, the okay, a, a relationship is going bad. You know, I, let me just step away. You shoot the man in his damn face while he sleep. And then you done shot another man within the same and within the past five years. You the problem more than likely, man. I mean, come on. And then you got this person sitting up on the damn. She's judging people. She's she's giving out sentences. A person that has absolutely no sense to judge. You can clearly see her judgment is, is silly as hell. But she's sitting there and she's judging people. So just imagine the people that she's giving sentences to, man. They may have to call back, you know, um, you know, re, uh, you know, repeal or, or restudy any cases that she's judged over, man. <laughs> God damn. Matter of fact, though, let me just grab this, this this scripture real quick, though, man. That's insane, bro. Oh, my. But they're not supposed to be in these positions, man. Here you go. You go on your monthly and you sitting there in that court defiling every damn thing that you touch and you judging people with the type of attitude that you got. Insane. Insane, bro. We need out of here. First Timothy 2 and 11, it says, Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Verse 12, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. She's not supposed to be in a, in a position of authority over, over, um, over men. Only males that she's supposed to be sub, um, um, you know, usurp authority over is her young young sons that's that's um that's growing up in the household. That's it. She's not supposed to be out in public. But just think about it. How how weird it is that a woman is judging a complete stranger, a complete a man that's a complete stranger to her all day. She's just judging men. And from the attitude, she act, from the looks of things, she she obviously don't really like men. So. You know, her to be sentencing people, man, is just kind of crazy. But let's go back. Let's see what else they got. She's giving out, you know, inappropriate. Uh, she's doing the inappropriate Facebook hookups. She interfering with police traffic stops and shit with her family. You know, she's authorizing. Uh, anyway, it says, number one, Judge Sonya McKnight is accused of blinding her ex-boyfriend in the eye. So I'm assuming that's where she, she hit him at. Look at this shit. And you can clearly see. She got that blonde hair, dude. And you, you already can see she, she's a nigga. Just a complete nigga woman with, 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 went to school 
and then became a, 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 these are your educated um, so-called black women right here. McKnight blinded her ex-boyfriend in one eye as a result of the shooting. She is accused of shooting the man in the head while he was sleeping in bed. Can you imagine that? Golly, bro. Man, ooh wait. According to ABC 27, McKnight is accused of shooting her ex-boyfriend in the face and is charged with attempted murder in the first degree aggravated assault. The television station reported that, according to the court documents, McKnight is accused of calling 911 and saying her boyfriend was unable to see. Of course he's unable to fucking see you and shot him in the damn face. He had recently ended their year-long living relationship. So he ended the relationship because obviously this bitch crazy. <laughs> the ex-boyfriend had attempted to have McKnight leave multiple times and remove his house key from her key ring. But McKnight continued coming to the home and used a spare key to get inside. Nah, man. But you think that, you know, you meeting a judge. You're like, well, all right, damn. You know what I'm saying? Shit, she made good money. She's not a bad looking lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we going to put, we going to make a life together. You know? And brother, you know, in America, you thinking you running across somebody like this, you done hit a lick. You done hit a gold mine. Come to find out this motherfucker crazy as hell. And I'm sure he didn't know. <laughs> but you know, it's got to be hurt, man. If he's like that. Well, then you know why she don't have her own place. And that's why we say, hey, I've I done a lesson yesterday, uh, um, you know, speaking on that. You know, you brothers, man, hey, if you can afford your own place, man, or, hey, stay in your own place. Have your own stuff, man. Let her live in her, her own place. She don't need no keys to your spot. You don't need no keys to hers. You know, you do your thing, you pay your bills, y'all do what y'all do, whatever, whatever, but you living in the days and times where it, it's just not safe, man, being around um, people like this. And, I, and, you know, that's the sisters, too, you know, dealing with, with, with men. You know what I'm saying? Because some of these dudes, is, uh, uh, you know, out of their damn minds, you know. So, I mean, just as a people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, man, we are under those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, and it's just... You have to just be circumspect when it comes to all of our people. Because even some of the Israelites that know that they're Israelites be going off, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, can't control their tempers. That, that's one thing that you have to try and come into control of when you come into this truth. Because the scriptures talks about being slow to anger. Anger rests up in the bosom of fools, roughly paraphrasing. That damn anger will get you in trouble, man. The scripture says to be angry but sin not. There's nothing wrong with being pissed about something. But you got to watch your, you know, you got to, you know, be in control of your spirit. The scriptures talks about that. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that real fast. Uh, how was it worded? Let me see. Yeah, Proverbs 16 and 32, it says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that take up the city. Here you go, you a judge and you can't rule your spirit? That's a, that's one that should be a pre prerequisite <laughs> to being a damn judge. You, you you a judge and you can't control your damn temper, you can't control your emotions. But we understand that because she's a woman. Women are emotional, man. It just is what it is. Proverbs 25 and 28 it says, "He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls." See, here you go. You think about how long she went to school. You know, she, you know, she had to, um, had, you know, how long it takes to, to become a lawyer, become a judge and do all this other stuff. And you throw that shit right out the window, just being a goddamn idiot, man. Anyway, shit is not surprising. Okay. But it says when he returned from work, she was in the house and wouldn't leave. The television station reported adding that eventually the man went to sleep before waking up to severe head pain. It was determined the man was shot in the head. He should have called the police on her when she was in there. Why would you go to sleep and, and, and leave her in the house knowing she, you had to know this bitch crazy. You trying to put her out. You done took your key off of her keychain. You should have, you know, hey, uh, call the police. Hey, look, I need a restraining order uh, um, on, this, on, this, on this lady, man. She keeps coming into my house. I need my spare key back. He could have had his locks changed. Something, man. 
you don't take the damn key. You know that there's a spare existing that you, of course, obviously she knew where it was. You know, leaving the damn spare under the, the flower pot or some silly shit. You should have just changed the locks. And, and a woman in this type of power, because that's a powerful, powerful position to have. And they can make things, they can make your damn life a living hell, man. Anyway, let's see what else we got. According to the Pen Live, it's the second time that McKnight has shot a man in five years. Golly. She previously was cleared in 2019 after shooting her estranged husband in the groin, which investigators ruled was self-defense. Uh, Pen Live reported that Enoch McKnight recovered from his injuries. She was a judge at the time. The husband said McKnight had accused him of being a cheater, according to Penn Live. And there she go. There she go. go we got them wigs on, girl. There you go. That's that look. That's that look. According to Ballotpedia, Sonia Baltimore McKnight ran unopposed in the general election. She defeated incumbent Robert Jennings III in their Democratic primary. Okay, all right. She received 52.2% of the vote. And you already know who voted for her, a bunch of women. Yeah, the Democratic. Yeah, you already know what's popping. Okay, it says uh, she was suspended after a series of accusations involving vacation days, not showing up for court, and more. So she ain't showing up for work. On September 6th, all right, let me see. The board filed a series of charges against her. The Judicial Conduct Board. It says the board sought revocation of a previous probationary term imposed on her and an interim suspension pending dis disposition of the, of the complaint. She was accused of telling four members of her staff that they could take four extra vacation days without utilizing their earned leave. She gifted them the leave, the order says. Um, she's, she granted them unearned vacation leave constitutes theft it says okay well i guess so hell she had previously been suspended from her duties as a judge from february 9th okay uh so she was already suspended it says the complaint says a woman claimed mcknight owed her two thousand and seventy three dollars for an unpaid loan judge mcknight advised her then office manager georgette potts here go another one to act like to act like the complaint was never received the order says my home girl. Girl, you know what it is. I'm giving you extra vacation days all way. This us. The complaint makes a series of other complaints, including that McKnight maintained a Facebook page called Sonia Marie that contains pictures of her and her judicial robe and pictures of a product called Exit Exit Red. She then urged people to purchase the product, the, the order says. She was accused of abusing the prestige of her office by soliciting sales of a product for financial gain on a social media account that clearly identify, identify her as magisterial district judge, says the complaint. She also had unexplained absences, absences for night court. Yeah, they got a whole list of things. They throwing her ass in that car looking stupid as hell. Uh... Is, I guess this is the part. Okay, it says, according to the different order, the Judicial Board, Conduct Board, filed a petition involving a traffic stock of McKnight's son. She had asked to be placed in a diversion program. The order says McKnight has been a judge since 2016. At 2 a.m., a Harrisburg police officer initiated a pursuit of a vehicle in which the driver was 31-year-old Kevin Baltimore. And they're not saying how old she is. I ain't seen how old she is yet, but if she got a son 31, she's up there. He stopped his vehicle along a street at a location where her district and placed a telephone call to McKnight. Well, you your mama boy calling his mama. While investigating, police learned there were there was an active arrest warrant for Baltimore and found crack cocaine and a scale and a stack of cash in his vehicle on his person, it says. Wow. McKnight drove to the scene of the traffic stop and placed a phone call to Thomas Carter, the commissioner of the Harrisburg Police Department, on her personal cell phone, it says. She told Carter that th that his police officers pulled over her son, pulled her son over in an illegal traffic stop, the petition says. She went to the scene and walked up to the police officers in a very demanding and agitated manner, it says. She asked why her son was in handcuffs. 
because the boy got crack on him. <laughs> oh, man. She, she asked why her son was in the handcuffs while an officer was going through his pockets, according to the petition, which also accused McKnight of yelling at the police officers and speaking to the officers and demanding an intimidate, intimidating tone. She also entered her son's vehicle. As a result of their efforts to hurry through the investigation, officers failed to properly search Baltimore and transpor transported him to the county booking center with a razor blade in his pocket, the petition says. Golly. The attorney general charged her with tampering with evidence and obstructing administration of law and official oppression. The petition says she was acquitted of criminal charges. She was ordered suspended without pay for 200 days. Incredible, bro. Anyway, but you get the point, man. Women are not supposed to be in these positions of, of, of authority, man. They, you know, they, you know, is it, hey, come on. Because it could sound like to me, she's just a hood chick that just so happened to go to school. Grab a couple of degrees with no professionalism. And you see it all the time, too, man. I've been to court with women judges, man, and they are assholes. <laughs> they are complete assholes. They have this power trip that is just, you know, I get it that you're in a position of, you know what I'm saying, you sh should have respect, but you shouldn't be up there. You know, you shouldn't, you know, I, I you know, because men are generally, they're different when, when it comes to men judges and women judges it's, and police officers. Just in general. Just in general. I was at a store the other day supermarket I always go to now mind you you know hey I live up the street from a Walmart I could easily go to the Walmart okay I you know I support the little local hookup you know what I'm saying so I go off in there and they see me all the time shit I've been going there since I was a kid damn near same people been owning the damn supermarket but they got the so-called black women behind the counter you know and because they what they did did was they set up a, um it's a new part of the store and they got it, you know, behind a bulletproof glass, you know what I'm saying, where you play the lottery and all that stuff. But they um, started like a little, uh, they, you know, they actually put a liquor store in there. So, you know, I'm about to cook some stuff. You know, I'm like, all right, well, I'm, I can grab the little wines or whatever. You know, I can grab all this little stuff right here at one time. You know what I'm saying? I get to the window. She's on her phone, scrolling through her phone, you know, so minute go by, damn near two minutes go by. I'm thinking she's going to look up, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to just... You know, cut into her, interrupt her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, but no greeting at all. And then, you know, I just, you know, after after a couple of minutes, I just was like, you know, uh, excuse me. I need such and such, such and such, uh, you know. And I said, please, you know, in the end. And she, well, you standing at the wrong window. Yeah, I thought you was writing down lottery numbers. <laughs> I was like, well, damn. I said, well, uh, you know, well, ma'am, had you looked up and greeted me, you would have known what I wanted. Because it's like two windows at the thing. You know, I'm just, you know, walking up like, okay, just to get her attention. I'm going to let her know what it is that I want. You know what I'm saying? Still, she should have looked up and greeted me. But she didn't. You know what I'm saying? She went to fussing and talking shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I, when I said, had you looked up and greeted me, you would have known what I wanted. She got pissed. And guess what she done? She's so comfortable in that position to the point that she actually called the store owner, which are Arabs, right? The damn Ishmaelites. She yelled at him and said, you got a customer. <laughs> she yelled at him and said, you got a customer. He had to leave what he was doing to come behind the counter and ask me, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I just explained to him what, I, what it was that I wanted, you know, and it was really very simple. But, you know, and, and then it dawned on me. I just, you know, I had a grocery basket as well. So normally when you got vegetables or whatever that you have to weigh, you know, you have to go around to the regular, you know, um, checkout line. But normally at this particular, you know, little liquor spot that they got, you know, this, you know, this guy, he would ring up all the stuff together, you know. And like I said, again, you know, I've been dealing with him for a long time and, um, you know, cool dude. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'll tell him like, yeah, I'm about to make this or make that. And, um, you know, and he'll go on his phone and Google to see, you know, and go through a list like you got this, you got that, you got this. Because it might be something new that I'm trying to make. You know, so this is how, you know, cool this so-called Arab is. You know, he all right. You know, he Ishmaelite, you know what I'm saying? But he going above and beyond because it's his store. You see what I'm saying? It, he's getting money off the customer. 
Here you go. You got the so-called black woman in this motherfucker. She's fucking up his money. Cause I, t- I put the, ba- I put the, the, I put the food basket into, you know, up on the thing, and just told him. I said, hey man, you know, I, I'm not getting all this. I'm not getting anything, and I won't be back. And then I explained to him, you know what I'm saying, like you know what the deal was. And you know he still, you know he was just like you know well we appreciate you as a customer this 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 and this. He was still trying to get me to buy the stuff. I was like nah bro, nah I'm out. I'm gonna take my money elsewhere because I, it, as a matter of fact it's a supermarket even more closer than me and I live up not too far from a Walmart. I was like you know hey I always come here because this was always like the neighborhood supermarket that we would you know I would come to. He was like well man I'm you know hey I you know. We appreciate your, you know, your, you know, you uh, coming to our store, you know what I'm saying, you know, and all this other stuff. But I was like, hey, look, man, I spend thousands of dollars in here per year. I know I do. I said, but I won't be back. And she's the reason. And then as I'm walking out the store, I can see him talking to her. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, but hey, just because of her smart ass mouth, now they losing my business. And I know it didn't have anything to do with them, but I'm like, well, you know, but still. You're going to, I'll talk to her. Okay, well, you're going to talk to her, talk to her. But I won't be back. <laughs> so just in, that, just in that moment, that situation, he lost a customer. See, money adds up. See, when you think, you know, I, and it's probably a drop in a bucket to them anyway, because, you know, they, you know Ishmael, they set up in, in, a, in a so-called blacks neighborhood, just like all these other nations of people, the enemies of the Lord. And, and you know, and they just, hey, they cake off of Jake, man. It cake off of Jake, but I'm like shit. I might as well go to the um the Walmart, where I can go through the self checkout, and I don't have to come across no so called black woman, because it's all so called black women in the, in the, in the Walmart. At the at you know at the registers and shit. I'm like nope, self checkout for me. The last thing I want to do is come across a so called black woman and and, and 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 when I'm out in public, I I'm not playing with you. I avoid them like the black plague. Straight up, man. Now, I love my people. But it just is what it is, man. I, you know, I, hey, you know, it's just being vexed in this truth throughout the day is enough. Why would you know what I'm saying? Why would I put myself through some extra stress by dealing with one of them with a fucking attitude? And all of them have attitudes. Oh, my. I don't come across this new. Gen- I, no, all of them have attitudes. I don't come. Even and this lady that I'm talking about, she was an older lady. This lady had to been easily in her 60s, man. She talking to me like I woke up with her. And then she she actually yelled, everybody looking around, you got a customer, to the owner of the damn supermarket. So I don't know if she's still there. I don't know what they said to her. I don't know. Don't give a shit because I wasn't going back and I meant it. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I just wanted to touch on that, man. You know, hey, we got a situation where we're under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. You have to be very, very careful out here, man. And it's so much stuff going on, man. And I ain't even going to the comments. Ain't even ain't no use in it. We already know the people clowning her ass. But it was another. Let me see. These women out of control, man. Look at this shit right here. I don't know what nationality she is. She could be a, a you know, Northern Kingdom or some shit. It says the internet reacts to YSL's lawyer social media post where she's posed with firearms, money. Quoted Big L lyrics and more. Look at this chick. Would you like to have this bitch as your lawyer? So like you. Let me see if we can get the, the pictures. This ain't nothing but a, this ain't nothing but a nigga, man. You know, a, 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 a chick with a look. She's spelling out money on the damn floor, broke with stacks, with guns in the background, man. Look, just stupid. Here you go. You're supposed to be the educated lawyer that's supposed to be representing me. And you doing the same shit that I'm trying to, you know, basically. <laughs> but I guess you attract the attention that, you know, of what you what you represent. Here's another one. Waynesboro woman charged in Valentine Day double homicide in South Georgia Motel. Wait, this a woman? This is a woman right here? Man, insane, bro. Ain't even got to go through the story. And it's so many of these stories, man. You can just, all you got to do is just scroll through them. This place is through, man. This place is through. Anyway, we don't need to go no further, man. Um, Hey, we're living in the last days. It's high time to wake out of sleep and repent. Um, The true name of the Father is Yahweh. 
which means he exists or the existing one and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And the Lord is coming to get us out of this mess, man, that we're in. Because this is a complete damn mess. We are through as a people. We are through as a people. We need the new kingdom. There ain't going to be no damn women judges in the kingdom. You ain't going to be uh, 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 on, on Facebook in the kingdom. You know? You ain't going to have to worry about your son be, um, um, getting caught with crack cocaine in the car, with wads of cash, with, you know, with, with, you know, just come on, bro. We already, you, you can clearly see that, you know, the, the raising of he, who he called mama. He didn't call his daddy. He called his mama. <laughs> anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.